Developers love to work with IntelliJ IDEA. Let's find out why from Ivan Lopez. Uh, hello, I'm Ivan Lopez. I'm a Micronaut Framework Committer working at Object Computing, and I work remotely from Madrid in Spain. I switched to IntelliJ IDEA around seven or eight years ago, and I've been a happy user since then. I started using IntelliJ IDEA because of Grails. I was working a lot with the Grails framework, and previously I was using GGDS, which was Groovy Grails Tool Suite, uh, that was based on Eclipse, uh, but with the time they stopped supporting the tool and the Groovy support was really, really worse. Um, so what I wanted to have is a new IDE that helped me to basically do my job. So I look a few options and I switched to, to IntelliJ and I have to admit that at the beginning it took me some time to, to get used to it because it's different, uh, but after spending some time I learned how to love it and I still love it. What I always do when, when I want to start with IntelliJ IDEA is going from, from the command line to the directory. I, I have my project and I execute idea dot enter, uh, and that's awesome because it, it can load the project really, really fast and everything is configured. If I'm using Gradle or Maven, it is loaded and I don't need to spend time going through the menus, file, import project or whatever. Oh, I love uh, a few things. Um, I like that it's fast and it really understands my code. And I also like that I can use IntelliJ IDEA for, for everything, not only when I'm developing with Java or Groovy or whatever. So most of the times when I'm working on, on other things, um, instead of opening another text editor, I just go with, with IntelliJ because I'm used to the shortcuts and I'm used to everything. So I know how to, how to do a lot of things and I don't need to, to switch to another tool and, and if I do that, I always miss because I try to use the same shortcuts and, and that doesn't work. I also love the, the ability to define, talking about shortcuts, uh, custom shortcuts for, for everything. I have my own and, and I'm able to customize whatever I want. Although sometimes it's really complicated to, to find a new combination, right? Because uh, there is a lot of them defined that sometimes you need to basically override one that you are not using and, and, and use your own. I really like the integration with, with other tools like the Database Explorer, because at the end, when, when you are working with, when you are developing applications, uh, pretty much all the time you will have a, a database. And I love that I can configure the database inside IntelliJ IDEA, and I can explore the database, execute queries, open tables, uh, modifying values and doing everything again inside the IDE. I don't need to switch to an external tool. I don't need to learn a new external tool. So I, I love that, that option that I can use inside my, my IDE. Uh, I have actually two. One is the integrated terminal and the other one is Git integration. Uh, for the former, I prefer to use an external terminal without the IDE, but sometimes depending on the, on the thing I'm working on, it's just faster and easier. Open the, the terminal inside the IDE, execute a few commands, uh, and you are done. Again, you don't need to leave the, the IDE. And the same for, for Git. I learned how to use Git from the command line long time ago, and I can do pretty much everything uh, from simple things like you know push, pull, commit. Uh, but I also can do interactive rebases, bisect, uh, Git, at patch, things like that. And I know that um, Git integration in IntelliJ is pretty good, uh, but I have to admit that I only use it uh, from time to time. So when I have a complex merge or when I want to take a look at how the tree, the Git tree looks like, but uh, I don't use it uh, every day. I think is the smart auto completion and, hit, and hints with, with the code. So for example, when you are writing lambdas or some if else blocks, uh, you write it, and then you see that the IntelliJ shows that pieces of, of code with, with this orange uh, background. So you know that there is something there, right? And the ID is telling you something. So you click uh, Control Enter, and the ID shows you basically a suggestion of, on how to, you can write that code better. So sometimes what I do is 
especially with lambdas, I write like the expanded lambda approach, and then I just let IntelliJ to, to improve it using method references uh, and things like that. Uh, no, I think that's all. I really love IntelliJ. I've been using it for a long time, and, and I'm pretty happy with it. Thank you.